What's up kids? Caleb here from Gamecliff, and we're going to talk about another Sega Genesis game. That's right, we're talking about Dinosaurs for Hire on the Sega Genesis. Contra clone. You guys probably have never even heard of this game. It's very unknown from an even more unknown and obscure comic book series by Malibu Comics. Dinosaurs for Hires. Freaking dinosaurs with guns. Come on, check it out. To start this out right, we need to first understand the source of the problem. The problem is Tom Mason, because Tom Mason made all this shit up. He's responsible for all this crap. So with that aside, now that we understand the source of the problem, let's talk about the history. Dinosaurs for Hire was a really ridiculous comic series published by Malibu Comics between 1988 and 1994. It was an absurd tale of three dinosaur commandos wielding guns and killing ninjas. The three dinosaurs were actually aliens that spaceship crash landed on Earth, and well, the rest is history. Stupid history. There's Archie, the Terminator-looking T-Rex. There's dumbass Lorenzo and his idiotic Hawaiian t-shirt. Oh yeah, Lorenzo's a Triceratops. He's a tri -wyan. Finally, there's Reese, and he's a one-eyed Stegosaurus, and that's pretty much all there is about Reese. Yeah, I know it's stupid, and I think it's stupid too. And then there's the game. Dinosaurs for Hire the Game was released in 1993 and developed by Malibu Interactive for the Sega Genesis. There's not really a lot known about this game as far as like what went into the development, because it doesn't even have its own Wikipedia page. There's really not a lot known about this game, but it's the same people that develop games like X-Mutants and other Malibu properties for Sega Genesis. It's definitely a con Contra clone. This game was trying to be like Contra, but with a Dinosaurs for Hire skin. Hopefully getting kids, I guess, into the comic book series, which, you know, didn't work out. And we'll, we'll look at why. Yeah, who are we going to play as here? We got Archie, Lorenzo. Look at all these details. Like, are these necessary? Like, his birthday, his likes. He likes Chun-Li, video games, X-Mutants. Shameless plug there. He likes Ken, Ryu. Oh my goodness. We're really getting into the details here. Seems kind of irrelevant. Reese. I don't even really want to know about Reese. Reese seems kind of like a downer to me. Something about him seems like he may be like the Eeyore of the bunch. I don't know. Like, oh, are there cigarettes in heaven? I don't think so. So yeah, I'll play as Archie. He's definitely like, you know, the most generic out of all the dinosaurs. Like in the 90s, they were such dinosaur fever, they would just put dinosaurs in everything. So yeah, this game is very much like a Contra clone. It really, really is. It's it's a Contra clone. It's not that bad. It's fun. It's a two-player game, and I don't have anyone that will actually play this game with me. When I was a kid, I had this game, and I couldn't get any of my friends to play it with me. They thought it was so stupid. They just wanted to play Mortal Kombat 2. So we did that, and then, you know, we played that, and I kicked their ass, and they got really pissed at me about that. But I was like, we should just play Dinosaurs for Hire, and they were like, no, that game's really stupid. You play as a dinosaur with a gun. I don't really like that. Yeah, you, you shoot ninjas in this game. You're a dinosaur running around shooting ninjas. There's ninjas coming in from gliders. I mean, what is, what, like, this has got to be some kind of drug dream right here. This game has a really weird feel to it. It's kind of loose, kind of poorly put together. It just seems really slapped together. Like, the way you have to shoot these things, like, that just seems really stupid. Use some cheeseburgers, some soda, yeah, that's what a dinosaur wants. You're a freaking big-ass dinosaur with a giant gun. That's pretty scary. You know, I would be afraid. I think the ninjas may be the good guys. As you can see, you can get power-ups in this game that, like, change your shot. A lot like Contra, like, you know, like a try shot and a rapid-fire shot. It's kind of generic, but, you know, it gets the job done, and it's really not that bad. Okay, now being that it's the 90s, you gotta go back to that crazy ass pumped up music that was always plaguing every single Sega Genesis game in 1993. We have a giant ball, dragon, dinosaur, creature crawling up what I assume is a dam, letting the water out. And why is everything made out of balls in the Sega Genesis? I'm starting to notice a trend here with balls in Sega Genesis. So this is the way the game actually starts out. Very first level, when you pick your dude, starts out like this. You're like, oh, I just beat the damn game. That was the easiest boss ever. Now those little tentacles and stuff coming out, it's a really nice touch. That's what I love about games like this. Then you gotta know that Tom Mason farted all over this game. That's how it was created. And there's this guy, this freaking pterodactyl. Look at this 90s tube. Whoa! Slight problem, bro. With your Genesis. Blast processing unit. Psych. Anyways, the real game starts here. Good luck. You'll need it. Yep. That's very 90s right there. Atypical. Gameplay is fast, competent, side-scrolling shooting, vertically and horizontally. Collision detection is a bit iffy, and the enemy hitboxes are very sketched out to the point where you have to be completely, microscopically, pixel-perfect accurate with your bullets, or they'll pass right through your enemies. So the point of this game is to kill as many enemies as you can using your gun while picking up power-ups to improve your shot. It's pretty fun, but honestly gets really repetitive after a while. Because the gameplay varies so little, it becomes more of an act of pure tedium than any actual enjoyment. The game just kind of gets old after a while, and it doesn't even take that long for it to get old. So what are the controls like in this game? Eh, they're not that bad. They're not really that much of a problem. I mean, pretty much you can just jump and shoot, then you have like a screen clearing bomb. And that's pretty cool, but they're hard to get. You don't really get them that often. And yeah, the controls are okay. They're pretty tight, I guess. I mean, the controls are pretty much contra in this game. 
game. Ooh, fuck, this game pretty much is Contra. What can I say? It really is pretty much just Contra when it comes to controls. This game has Contra controls, and Konami did not make this game. Which is kind of why it's not that great. Here's my point. I mean, look at this boss. Like, the way the controls are set up, you have to jump to these other platforms to avoid his shot. Then he throws all this napalm up there, and it just really sucks. And you use your bomb. It doesn't do crap as he drives by. And you have to be really accurate. And this is just kind of annoying and not very fun to play. Like, my god. This is like the first real boss that you fight in the game after that fake boss in the very beginning. And this part is kind of a pain in the ass. It's really hard. You eventually figure out that he's got kind of a pattern. You learn how to avoid his shots. But my god, this guy totally cheats you out. There's like a little sweet spot you can get to in the corner where you can really shoot him. It actually works out and you finally kill him. Damn, it's annoying. Die, die, die! That's some 90s too that really bothers me. These dinosaurs having to blow their little raspberries after they beat each level. That's just kind of like cocky and just unnecessary. No one wants to see that. Like, what is that? Dude? No one wants to see that. Not what a dinosaur would do. Not some alien dinosaur, no. The music is the worst part of this game. It's the same thing over and over and over again. Just the same freaking repetitive music throughout the entire blasted game with glass processing. God, this music is so annoying. It just gets really freaking old because it's all you ever hear. And it's not even that good. No, the music sucks. Pass on the music, pass. Graphics are okay. This game, okay, I will say this about the game. The game has graphics. I mean, look at the game. Look, graphics. You see graphics. This game has graphics. And they're mediocre. They're really not that good. I mean, the graphics are passable. You can see that you have a dinosaur that shoots with a gun. And you can punch stuff sometimes. You don't have a bomb. It's a game with graphics. And they're really not that interesting or that appealing. Level design's pretty freaking boring. The graphics are just kind of boring. Not that great. Would I recommend this game to anybody? No, not really. This game's really not that good. I'd give this game, at the very most, only because it's a somewhat competent Contra clone. A 5 out of 10. And that is being really forgiving. And that's only nostalgia that's allowing me to be that forgiving in this game because this game sucks i mean let's not sit here and rest on false laurels this game blows this is not a good game the idea behind this game is a parody that went wrong like the whole concept of the comic book was intended to be a parody but it just went wrong because it just sucks and there's no reason to bring this back for there to be action figures made that's what they always want but no let's not do that we had street sharks this is just dino fever from jurassic park this game sucks Thanks for watching Game Glip and don't forget to subscribe.